Nicholas, Nakoda, the fun hole. Oh shit. That's a quote. That's what author Kathy Koja said when asked to describe her debut novel called The Cipher in 10 seconds or less. And I think it is apropos, so I, I quoted her. <clears throat> Centipede Press recently published a signed and limited edition of The Cipher, and if you're not familiar with Centipede Press, check it out, man. They make some fine, fine books. And sometimes it's not easy to get the Centipede Press books, so if you're interested, you gotta be paying close attention. And every Sunday, I think 11 a.m. Eastern Time, something like that, be prepared to check out their newsletter and see what's up because some of that stuff sells out really fast. Anyway, a few weeks ago, this book came up for sale. Kathy Koja's The Cipher came up for sale and I didn't know much about it. So I did some Googling and I really got some information on the Facebook. Turns out on the Facebook, there's a bunch of people that really dig this book and they're talking it up so highly, and at $125, I wanted to make sure. It didn't take many minutes before I realized I needed to buy this book. I didn't want to miss out, so I mashed them buttons and got the book coming. And uh, I think the state of Colorado liked this package because uh, Centipede Press, Jared sent me tracking number in the, e in the email, and that tracking number, I looked it up and was checking it every day. And it seemed like it just sat in Colorado for a long, long time. Finally, Colorado said, okay, you can have it because one day it's in Florida and the next day it's in my mailbox and here it is. <clears throat> anyway, this, uh, this book has a, a very interesting premise. Uh, essentially, you have uh, a couple... Uh, on again, off again, couple Nicholas and Nakoda. Uh, they have uh, they have aspirations to to do things other than what they're doing. But as many of us find out, sometimes you just get stuck doing what you do. And so Nicholas is a an assistant manager at a video store. Man, I miss video stores. Uh, Nakoda is a barmaid, and um, Nicholas has this rundown apartment. Been there and done that. And they end up discovering on a second floor storage room in this rundown apartment building, a hole. It turns out when you throw stuff in the hole, it comes back altered. And they find some creative things to throw down the hole. They end up calling this hole the fun hole. That's why Nicholas, Nakoda, the fun hole, all that kind of stuff. Um... As you would imagine, what happens when this information gets out and other people find out? There you go. I, uh, I, I, like I said, I ordered this book. There were 500 signed copies. I ordered a signed copy. They're all sold out. I don't remember how long it took them to sold out, but they sold out pretty quickly. It wasn't that long before they're all gone. And they had 250, 200. They had, they had a certain number of unsigned copies that were available. Those were, so this signed was 125. Unsigned is still available at 100 bucks. So if you're interested in the book and the signature is something you can live without, you save 25 bucks, you can get an unsigned copy. As far as I know, everything else is the same. You're just missing the one page that's, that's signed. Well, let me get this... Let me get this joker open because this is what we came to see. <clears throat> now, one of the things that uh, that is ter that is neat, terrific about Centipede Press, besides high quality books and stuff like that, is I've never ever felt like I didn't get what I paid for. So you're getting a quality publication, but you're also, in this case, and I think pretty much everything, you're getting artwork in, in addition to the books. I've paid good money for books and ended up basically just getting a book with a signature page and um i never ever have issues like that with centipede press they're one of the good ones one of the publishers that do things right 
Another thing they do is look at this box. You got a book in a big old box. There's no way this book is this big. The box is oversized. That means that somewhere along the way from the time they drop it off at the post office to the time it ends up in my box, boxes are liable to get bashed, smashed, tossed, all sorts of damage done to them, regardless of who the shipping company is. So extra space sure enough helps. But inside that box, you gotta do stuff to make sure that if your book moves around, it's not gonna get banged up inside the box. So typically, what Jared at Centipede does is he takes your grandfather's bubble wrap and just wraps that mother up, shoves it in the box, and it does its job. I haven't had a damaged book. I mean, it's just, you can imagine, that's protection there. I haven't had a damaged book from Centipede Press, and it's the good stuff. Listen, stuff, listen. Pops, good stuff. <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's, that's great. Every time I order a book from Centipede Press, I always feel comfortable that what I'm gonna get is not damaged, and we're about to find out if, uh, if I spoke too soon or not. My book is numbered 130, it's, uh, wrapped in shrink wrap, and they put a little sticker on there that I, we'll see. Anyway, that should be numbered to 500, each book's individually numbered. Uh, the book is shrink wrapped, and we'll, we'll open up the shrink wrap and see what it looks like. <clears throat> Uh, I don't keep my books in shrink wrap. Some people do. They'll buy it like this. They'll put it on a shelf like this. And like this, it will stay forever. Because it's new and sealed and all that stuff. Some collectors really dig that kind of stuff. I don't. Some things I might. But not, not a book. I'm going to take the book out of the wrap. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to take a look at it. Now, one thing I don't do, though, is I don't... I almost never read limited edition books because i don't want to mess them up i'll usually read books that cost a couple bucks two or three or four or five bucks usually used paperback books sometimes used hard covers that i can come across at a cheap price that way i don't worry about what happens to them while i'm reading them but sometimes i have read limited editions when i have no choice you might buy a limited edition book and then have to wait a year perhaps to find a cheap copy somewhere. Yeah, I don't want to do that, so I might read the limited edition book. As a rule, I do not. And uh, when I put them on the shelf, I'll take, if it's got a, a dust jacket, I'll wrap that up in mylar to protect the dust jacket for an ever and ever, and then uh, put it on the shelf, and there we go. Let me get this shrink wrap off so we can open it up and see how she looks. Put that back where it belongs. <clears throat> All right, the, uh, the one thing that I, I see right off the bat when I take the shrink wrap off, I'll show you here, is the top edge stain or top edge spray, which to me is a neat little touch of class something that I like. Not all publishers do it, and not all publishers do it well. I've gotten books with top edge stain where the stain bled through and the uh, the pages had discoloration at the top where it, it kind of bled through. And there's what I'm talking about there. And you can also see, so you can see the stain on the top as opposed to the page ends there, the built-in ribbon marker. Neat, neat little touches for books. The artwork, Martin Ander on the dust jacket. We got some very neat artwork there. There's uh, there's the spine. So when it's sitting on the shelf, that's what you're gonna see. And uh, the front, I, th I think I already showed you the front. The the back of the dust jacket, really cool stuff. And the, the let's take this dust jacket off. Hey, I didn't show you the end flaps. Let me see the, the end flaps of the dust jacket. I'll show you the whole shebang when you unfold it. So there's there's stuff all the way across. It looks really good. The uh, the dust jacket's nice. Centipede Press almost always really is good about getting you a book that's gonna look too sweet. And they say you can't judge a book by looking at the cover, but having a book that looks really good is a major bonus. All right, let me put that away and show you this cover here. Talking about covers. We got three color foil on our boards, cloth boards, very nice. Centipede always makes beautiful books. 
Beautiful dust jackets, but when you take the dust jackets off, you get nice stuff underneath as well. And you can really see that iridescent lighting on that foil there on the on the boards. <clears throat> uh, also, the end papers. Look at there, artwork on the end papers. Now, uh, Centipede Press calls this an illustrated edition, and there are publishers out there that might say a book is illustrated and when you open up the boards you get illustrations on the end papers and that's that and they'll call that interior illustrations but that's not the case here we're going to look and see illustrations throughout this book and i'll show them to you what i want to do before i do that is i want to see the signature page because i told you this signed copy 125 dollars is signed and the difference between this the unsigned, I believe, will be the signature page. So let's jump right in and see what that additional 25 bucks buys you. And there is our signature page. I told you number 130. And that's, uh, so you get the artwork on the signature page. It is signed by author Kathy Koja, Daniel Kraus, and Dan Sauer. Uh, limited to 500 copies. And it is 292 pages, the book is. Uh, since I'm here in the back, and I, you know, the signature page is in the back on on this book. Some uh, many of the many of the publishers will put signature pages on the front, and uh, some of them will hide them on the back. There's our our end papers. What else? Pictures. Let's take a look at pictures before we do that. There's uh, some people ask about bindings. Centipede Press uses a, a style of binding, Smith sewn binding, and that's what's typically associated with quality books. Where some of some of your trade copies, trade editions uh, from different publishers, as well as limited editions, I've got limited editions on the shelf with glued bindings, where essentially they'll they'll just take the 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 pages, they're glued in here and that's what holds them in place as opposed to being sewn together and many times sewn together and glued <clears throat> anyway that's uh that's that uh, i'm going to show you uh, the the artwork as i find it i think they their website says six color il interior illustrations in addition to what i've already shown you but uh, let's see let's see and in my experience, Centipede Press has never disappointed. So I'm going to flip through here and try to find these pictures for you. Hopefully I won't miss any. And I'm uh, just going to show you what I see as I see it. Um, so you can be, so you can make an educated decision based on what you want to buy, should you want to buy it. And I'm looking for these interior illustrations. So in the fun hole, you can imagine all sorts of stuff goes in there. When I was just a boy, probably the age of 12 or so, we moved out of our rundown single wide trailer in the woods that was about 12 feet wide and the floors moved when you walk. We hit the high society and dad got a apartment <laughs> in Brooksville, Florida, uptown high society, small town, got a little two bedroom apartment and a duplex in Brooksville, Florida. We hit the big time, but I had a good friend that I'd known for a long time who lived nearby. One Saturday morning, we're out playing and we discovered that at about 10 o'clock, the train comes down the tracks. And we were out there and we were thinking, man, wouldn't it be neat to put something on the tracks and see what happened? What happens to it? So we made an appointment, Kevin and I did. Next Saturday, nine o'clock, we're gonna be out here with our pockets full of stuff. So when this train comes by, we're gonna see what it'll do. And we did. We came back with all sorts of stuff, nuts and bolts and coins and old toys and rocks and anything we could find that week. The, the thought was, I wonder what the train will do to this thing. And I, I kind of get that same impression here. I wonder what this thing will be like if we throw it in the fun hole and it comes back. What, what will happen? Uh, but anyway, reading that premise made me think about Kevin and I and the railroad tracks there. And I'm flipping through, trying to find 
all of these interior illustrations. I haven't kept track. I haven't uh, been keeping count. If uh, if I found six, just let me know. And uh, I mean, I found the the illustrated pages on the back would have some design. I do not count those. And then we're back at the signature page, which again is in the back. But another beautiful edition from Centipede Press. Another book. One of the great things about Centipede Press. Besides making amazing books and being a good company that takes care of customers, fixes any issues that come up and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that go into it, packing stuff well. A lot of things make them great. But this is a publisher that introduces us to stuff that we ordinarily may never have heard of. And this is a book that many many of the 500 people that bought the limiteds and the whatever it is 200 people that bought the these unsigned editions many of these customers did not know about this book maybe they won't admit it but they did not know about this book well now we do and you're watching this video now you do and that's one of the cool things about this publisher he's published some well-known iconic books that everybody knows about but he's also published stuff that only a few know about you might say cult type following books, but uh, exposing these books to a broader audience is a service. And it's something that I appreciate because if nobody ever, ever, ever talked about stuff, then maybe I would never know about it. Maybe I would only know about the, the whatever things I stumble across or the popular books or the ones that are sitting on the shelf at the big bookstores. You might not hear about things like this. But, uh, but Jared at Centipede Press is helping the cause, helping to get some of these authors and some of their works out there for the rest of, for the, the, the unwashed masses, the unwashed masses like me to, uh, to discover and read and open up new worlds and horizons. And that is a service. And that's a great characteristic of a great publisher. So one of my favorites, I've got some favorite publishers that I really love. Centipede does great stuff. Uh, check them out. I'll put a link on the web. I'll put a link to their website where you can order an unsigned book. You can check them out if you don't know anything else about them. Other than that, I can think of no more lies to tell. So, say la vie, baby.